welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. Thanks for joining me again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to censor a moving subject using VideoPad's sensor effect that enables you to blur, pixelate, or black out part of an object. I will be explaining it in simple terms that make it easy to understand and follow. It is very similar to my advanced zoom effect video, so if you've watched that already, you are way ahead of the game and this should be relatively simple. I made a short video of myself walking across my garden, and we will use this as an example of how to censor a moving object. First thing we're going to need to do is you are going to have to mark off the segment that you wish to apply your effect to. And this is the pattern that you use with most video effects and audio effects. And you position your red timeline cursor where you want your segment to start. You hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor. Usually three options appear. If they do not, you click one time and these three options come up, the scissors and the two brackets. Do not use the brackets. I repeat, do not use the brackets. Choose split all tracks. You then use the red timeline cursor and reposition it to where you want your effect to end, your segment to end. And we're going to have it end right there. And as you can see, my three options have appeared and I am going to choose split all tracks. The next thing you must do is you must click one time in between your two cut marks, your two marks, and this activates the segment in between and this tells VideoPad that this is the segment, this is the segment that you are going to be applying an effect to. We are going to be applying a video effect, so from the top menu I'm going to click on video effects and I am going to scroll down to the filters. I am not going to use blur because blur refers to blurring the entire video and we don't want to do that. We only want to censor a small portion so I am going to click on the censor icon and this dialog box comes up. I'm going to call this our censor dialog box comes up and let's talk about this for a second. First thing you need to make sure of course is that is it is enabled. I don't even know why they have this here. Now <clears throat> Let's go down to the bottom right away where it says shape. You have two options, rectangle or oval. And I am going to choose the rectangle. Now the sensor type, we have three different types. We have black, as you can see. There is also pixelate. And then there is blur. I found that the blur is very, very light. It's a very light blur, so I prefer to use pixelate. It depends on your situation. Now, to move our sensor box around, there's three ways we can do it. The first way is the slider bars. You can move your slider bars, and as you can see, the sensor box moves. That's left and right and this is up and down and you can also change the size with the slider bars this makes x size x makes it wider and more narrow and the size y makes it taller or thinner you can also click in the numerical value boxes and you can change these numbers. And of course, you can click inside your box and simply move your sensor box around with your mouse and resize and reposition it as you wish. I am going to try to pixelate my face. Now, to achieve our goal of blurring a moving subject, we need to click on the show or hide the effects animation editor because we're going to be using this editor. 
and this very, very intimidating, nasty looking box comes up, but it is not so bad. Basically, what we are going to be doing is the same idea as a connect the dots drawing. You are going to create the dots and VideoPad will automatically create the lines connecting the dots. And the dots, rep, dots are called keyframes. And this is how VideoPad knows where you want your sensor box to be. Now, obviously, you must create your first dot at the very beginning. And to create your dots, create your keyframes, you click on the Add Keyframe at Current Position. We now have created our first keyframe, our first dot in our Connect the Dots drawing. And what I like to do, especially if our subject is moving at a rather steady pace and kind of in a straight line, is go to the end of our segment. And you can navigate through time by dragging the red timeline cursor and you can see the image moves in the frame. And we're going to take it all the way to the end here, to the last frame. And I am now going to drag my box to where I want it to end. I want it to end right there. Okay, I've clicked and dragged my sensor box to the end. And VideoPad automatically connects the dots for me, just like the connect the dots drawing. Let's go back to the beginning now and watch it. I am going to click and drag my red timeline cursor and as you can see Ooh, it was a little bit out of frame. So let's do it again, you know? Let's go to right here. Let's drag our box right over my face. Now it's going to create a another dot. Every time you resize or reposition your sensor box, VideoPad automatically puts a dot in for you. If you're not sure, you can click on the Add Keyframes at Current Position. Now let's see how that looks. We're going to take it all the way back to the beginning and see if VideoPad stays with us. Okay, right here I'm out of frame a little bit, so I'm going to reposition my box, reposition my cursor box, and I'm going to add another keyframe. I want to make sure I stay within that box. If I am moving outside of the sensor box, I just relocate it, add another keyframe. I am creating connect the dots and VideoPad will do the rest of the work. I think we've got it pretty good now. We've had to add a couple dots. And as I walk across, VideoPad follows me. Now we didn't have to add a dot every second. Just a couple was enough and we have achieved our goal. At this point, you can close your dialog box and you are done. Note that if this was a still image, you would not have to reposition the sensor box once you have it in one place at the size that you want, the position that you want, you can close your dialog box. I am going to export this and we are going to take a look. Creating a blur, pixelated, or black box sensor effect on a moving subject is surprisingly easy. Let VideoPad automatically connect the dots to make your sensor drawing. With a few practices, you can easily add this effect to your VideoPad editing repertoire. Thanks for watching. Tick that like button and be sure and sub to my channel. 
You can find all my VideoPad tutorials from the playlist link in the description below. See you next time!